Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is Satisfactory. We are gonna be back in the day one or 1.0 release save today, the Cybertron save. Uh, new factory smell, but same Cybertron Transformer themes. We might even start a new factory today. Uh, we've got the starter factory up and running, but we have yet to dedicate a real system to permanently produce certain parts that we're gonna need down the line. And we doubled our power yesterday and we have the capability to really expand things now that we've unlocked Mark III belts and lifts and all of the logistics that go along with that. We also are producing all the parts that we need. We have all the steel, uh, we have all of the um, stitch iron plates, or not stitch iron plates, the reinforced iron plates. Although speaking of, that's something we need to, need to do is get more uh, hard drives for more recipes, as well as uh, unlock a few more things in the MAM, including explosives, so that we can open up uh, areas that we wouldn't otherwise be able to get to as well as build in areas that we would not otherwise get to. I'd also like to try and find the SAM in this area. I may look it up on the satisfactory calculator. I think it's either on top of or underneath the arch. Uh, either way, we need to try and figure that out because I'd like to get the dimensional storage happening as well. Sweet Sandy, Glam Pixie, hello, welcome in. Blast Jordan, good to see you. Dan, of course, is hanging out in the chat as well. I think I saw Grandpa Crafter too. Uh, always good to see everybody. Sandy knows where it is. Cool. It's underneath. Perfect. Thanks, Dan. Um, Glam Pixie, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. Have you been here before? I feel like I would remember your Twitch name because it's a cool Pix name. Cool, cool Twitch name. Hey, there's Zero. What's shaking? All right, let's switch over here. And uh, for anybody that's coming in a little bit later in these videos, I'll let you know. Um, first, we are working on a new build in the game. Uh, it's a 367101 is the new build. They released a patch yesterday while we were streaming and that should fix some of the crashes. We've not had any crashes in this save anyway because it's pretty low as far as the taxing quality of what's happening in the game. So we really haven't experienced much. Um, if anything, I'd like to turn up the graphics a little bit, but I'm not gonna push my luck. Uh, we are producing uh, concrete and uh, copper over here. We are doing a lot of iron in this area here. And we have a very small steel setup that's constantly going uh, because we are dedicating two resources to it. We've got one iron node here that's just constantly feeding this. We've got another, um, you can see the tractor going right there actually. <clears throat> uh, tractor feeding coal in here, so we've got coal taken care of as well. Sulfur is the next thing, and I might have to go over to the sulfur node to unlock some stuff. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks very much for kicking off the stream and the lurk. Appreciate it. So we need to make 50 black powder. And that requires coal and sulfur. Wouldn't mind doing 150 black powder, as a matter of fact. So we'll do that. <clears throat> so that's one, so it's 50 or 150. And we're going to need that much, um, that much sulfur. As well. I've got 42, so we won't need that much. That's good. And I've got... 20 crystal. 20 quartz. Cr no, I've got 20 quartz. How much quartz crystal do I have? Not much. I think we're good there. I don't want to fill my inventory up too much because we're going to uh, need the space, I feel. 
Sweet Sandy gifted a tier one sub to Glam Pixie. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Sweet Sandy. <clears throat> Glam Pixie, if you want to join the Discord, you can uh, connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and now join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. <clears throat> and you've managed to catch a couple streams here and there. That's probably why your name seems familiar. That's cool, Glam. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And that's a hype train. Thanks to Blast Jordan kicking off a hype train. If you'd like to join in, it's 100 bits a tier one sub, which is 25% off this month, or a prime sub. Uh, the uh, subs will get you access to the Discord, and uh, the bits just help me stream more often. Well, they all help me stream more often, but the bits are just the, the Twitch monies. All right. Uh, how are we doing for fuel here? I'm going to fill this up when we walk by. Or drive by. Oh, can I get that by this way? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Just. <laughs> <clears throat> Try not to get run over by Bumblebee. We will be good for fuel for a while. <clears throat> when we get the explosives, we can get rid of these rocks and this gas and expand where we can build. Which would be nice. Well, that's the other thing I needed too was a gas mask, wasn't it? What do I need for that? Glam Pixie passing on the love, giving a tier one sub to Blast Jordan. Sorry, BL Andrew. Sorry, not Blast Jordan. BL Andrew. I didn't realize BL Andrew was lurking in the chat. Thanks very much. Glam, that's amazing. Should I go over the spiel again? BL Andrew, did you know? No, I won't. Just do bang Discord and chat for anybody that's got curiosities. Uh, Sweet Sandy with 300 bits. Thanks very much. The frog is real today. I don't know why. Gas filters require fabric and coal. That's fine. Gas max requires 50 fabric. And fabric requires mycelia. We need more mycelia too. More biomass, that's good. Dan, holy smokes. Pushing that hype train to level three, that is five gift subs. Going out to the Wormbo, Rosters, Tis for Truth, Unstable Element 135. And Darker Scarlet. These are all names that I don't recognize. That's amazing. Thanks so much for being here, folks. And uh, now you can also join the Discord. And just ahead of Dan, we've got Blast Jordan gifting a tier one sub. And that went out to WJL Moras. Moraes? Moraes. WJL Moraes. You've got a sub as well. Uh, thank you for all the gift subs, folks. Wow. That's really generous. <clears throat> We should have enough to make the gas mask now. We 
can equip that. Good help. And don't think there was anything else on the mycelia tree. Synthetic polyester fabric. Just a recipe. So we'll still get more mycelia if we see it. I think that's a good idea. Uh, I'll leave the biomass here, though. Also... I think we're good here. Sam, I guess I should bring another couple of portable miners. They stack now, anyway. Got another two minutes left on that uh, hype train, folks. Who want to join in? 100 bits or a tier one sub or prime sub. Not always someone that is in chat right now gets the sub, but they have been here at some point. Oh yeah, no, I understand that. I think that it's just that I didn't recognize the names from people that may have chatted before. Obviously I recognize BL Andrew, um, but uh, I think the Warmbo and maybe Darker Scarlet I recognize as some people that I've talked to in chat, but everybody else, I'm just like, you're new. That's awesome. We've had a lot of new people coming in, either from the spawn chunks or from uh, just Satisfactory in general. Plus, we've had a couple of raids over the last few weeks, one from Total Eclipse and the other one from Bits that are big Satisfactory creators. Um, we are now over 20k followers on Twitch, which is fantastic. I still haven't run the numbers to find out what day that actually happened on, but I do need to make a, a post. Uh, I also need to double check that we're not backed up anywhere. This is not full, I don't think. Nope. Uh, we are not currently storing rods, I don't think. I feel like our plates are now going into a thing. They've changed the hitbox on these. It's not as easy to spot your uh, your recipes now. These are all being made into those, and those have got a box. Right, okay. Now I feel I can go. Uh, how do I say your name? Is it Vosa or Veos? Veos SA? I'm assuming the SA is like an initial, not part of the actual name. First stop under the arch. which I can't get to, that needs to be blown up. And we received a hype train emote, a little balloon animal. That's fun. I hear you, slug. How do I get to you? Oh, I'm not doing that. We're just going to use foundations. Actually, let's use these guys. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but using the ladders on the side of your bins is a really good way to get around, get up to places that you can't normally reach. Jay Christ, good to see you. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Uh, 
So we have a gas mask now, which is good. I do not see where the same ore could be. And we haven't found any anywhere yet, so I can't scan for it. Hard with the Blade Runners. I always feel like I'm going to jump off the edge. It's at the bottom, says Dan. You know, in all the years I've played this game, I've never gone down there. Oh, did they change? They, do they have a new animation now? I don't remember them having like a cool unfolding animation. That's cool. Alright, so it's at the bottom, says Dan. Is it easier to get is it easier to get through the, the rocks? Like would it be better for me to go get um the sulfur first? I know there's one there, but I'm curious if there's another sulfur ne node nearby. I think they're all farther away. Yep. Oh, there's one over there. I didn't know that. Oh no. That sucks. Is it here? I think that was it. Hit escape by accident. Meant to hit tab. I still find the mouse really weirdly laggy in the UI. I decided to wait to be able to fly down there. Uh, I fell and had stuff. Used ramps. Hmm. Cube 420. Hello, welcome in. Thanks for the heads up. I'm going to go get the uh, sulfur first. Never thought we should have put, should have unlocked stairs. <laughs> Would have been fun. Those fill up. I'm gonna go grab that slug.
There you are. Easy breezy. Vicky Savage, welcome in. Another one over here. Aha. No. Oh, that was close. I missed. Don't know if there's any more up there. Oh, for quick, pour water on it. <laughs> well, we'll get to 150, no problem. That's for sure. Oh, there's a hard drive. I didn't see that the last time I was up here. Nice. We need those too. And a summer sloop. And a lava donkey. This is so pretty. Our blood could fill the effigy veins for a resonant song. Scripture becomes harmony, becomes composition. Defile our temple and the threads will sew the windows open. Pattern analysis continuing. New instruction. Repeat pioneer exposure to alien artifacts. Brain damage compensation packages may be available on successful completion of a special claims form. Our <laughs> expert fix-it medical staff are impartial and always open to assess your claim. <laughs> impartial I already got this one oh I hate that the number keys exit you from stuff that's annoying if I hit yeah, if I hit a number key, it goes out to my hotbar. I'm in the map. I don't want to use my hotbar. That is annoying. It means I can't type in the color to search for it. Yeah, I feel like when you're in the interface like this, a bunch of, like, all of the keys that you want to use, like tab and numbers and all that kind of stuff should be like not affecting your character category uh drop pods i already got that one nuggets well there's lots of drop pods in there too and i'm happy to have the other summer sloop so you need to fill out a claims from uh form to get the advancement um i don't know i don't think so I think it's part of the concussion. We'll let these fill up and then that'll be it. We'll go back with enough sulfur to last this little while. Uh, can we see anything from here? Probably not. The blue crater. Well, that's the actual edge of the map. The blue crater's over there.
I know I'm not I'm uh I'm trying not to get too close to the edge the the jumping is a little bit hard to control I needed 150 and I got 300 at least Yeah that should be okay Sounds like going down to get the sand might be a little bit tricky. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should drop the sulfur back just in case. You know another place to get Sam? Is it close by? There's, I think there's one over on the east coast, right? black powder first. We need 150. Uh, where you have the coal burners? Up on the right, high top. Okay. I wanted to go up there anyway, because um, there's a lot of hard drives kind of like around here, like around the edge of this pig pit. There's a lot of hard drives. So I thought that may be good. I'm glad it makes four at a time. Explosives. Detonator and basic nobilisk unlocked. Most obstacles can be cleared with the basic nobilisk. It is most effective against organic material and is able to destroy small boulders and porous rock. Deployed nobilisks will stick to the first solid surface they touch and cue on the universal detonator. If you do not recall the order in which you deployed the Nobilisks, remember Fixit does not take responsibility <laughs> for any harm caused due to human error, even if those errors are genetic. The Defense Department regrets to inform you that your your sons are dead because they were stupid. Uh, that's something we could do. Don't care about turbo fuel. This unlocks the rifle, but I don't really have a need. For any of these, I'm just, I don't remember what's down here that I don't think it would be really all that important to progression. And this requires plastic, which I just don't have. So, equipment hand slot. I might actually prefer to make some explosives with this. Whoops. <laughs> Yay, boom, boom, says Dan. Twenty's not a lot. I should, I should probably make 
make more. Out of curiosity. That's the only recipe I have for that. And black powder. What I should do is set this up in a little assembler and let it do its thing. Where do I have the space for this? We expand. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to actually build my first factory. I have not sorted that out yet. Missing cable. Mini charges. Jake Kirst, are you not familiar with the... Um, with the... Uh, the Noblesks? I should also work on the goal. We can get some of that done. I'm going to be manually pulling this out, so. Power, power, power. Pull from the other way. Oh, maybe I won't. Um, Stack at a time. <clears throat> Not really all of my knowledge of this game comes from watching you play. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so, we now have to craft the detonator, which allows us to equip the things, I think. How does that work? There it is. No less detonator. I need object scanner. It's really hard to see when they're when they're not available. Uh, so you build the detonator. <clears throat> and then you can equip that in your hand slot. So like that. Nice little animation. And now when you press R to reload, you get a bomb. And then you can right click to detonate existing bombs that are out in the space. Or you can uh, throw it. And if you hold down the mouse button, you wind up. There's a little reticule in the middle of the screen. And you throw it. And one of the lovely things that they changed in update 8 is that these gaseous rocks that are a pain in the butt can no longer exist. You can also permanently clear smaller rocks like these so if i don't want to rock in my driveway then i can just reload and put this down here and blow these up those go away unfortunately you can't remove like this stuff some of these bigger rocks are are not removable and it's it's the mineral when you see the minerals in it you know it's like part of the landscape but when it's just like a flat kind of rock texture then you can you know you can destroy it um i don't want to go around doing all of that because of course it gets gets a little pricey see like for example I, i'm pretty sure that's not something we can get rid of i know we can't get rid of this but like this this is something that you could blow up for sure but all these rocks are totally things we can get rid of i 
And you don't have to blow it up one at a time, except for I missed. You can um, load them all out at once. And then detonate all three. Cross our fingers that that one gets blown up. And anytime you've seen rocks around the map that have cracks in it, you can use it to like access caves and all kinds of stuff. So there's only a couple more. There's one. I think I'm just going to go up there with some ramps. Fire in the hole, yeah. It's really fun, actually. I I have a good time with it. Now all the gas is gone. Not that it really mattered we had the gas mask, but now we can build like a building here if we wanted to. And uh, not have to worry about it. Cool. Okay. Uh, sulfur. Coal. Slugs. This storage system might have to grow as well. I think we're good. So, Sam Orr was over that way with some hard drives as well. I'm going to put, I'm going to guess and say it's probably here. Like somewhere in like that area. head towards that and I guess I'll use the tractor probably the fastest way So another good example here, we can just get rid of these. Maybe both of them? Yeah. Sometimes if you split the difference, you can get two for one. Yeah, when you end up on two wheels, it's pretty good. Pretty funny. Good job, it's not a three-wheeler, yeah. Tricky terrain, I'm not sure whether it's faster on foot or not, but we're here now.
think there might be quartz up here too. I want to go down that way. I want to go this way. I thought there was quartz up here, but I think they moved it. I think it's over here now. Yeah. Probably jump most of this. Nope. Oh, I didn't bring any pipes. Whoops. That was dumb. Can I use the regular ones? more building. Is it a hard drive? Thought there was one up here. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. Their weaponized plasma is most likely stored as a stable chemical substance in an organ close to their mouth. Huh. It only turns volatile when exposed to one of the chemical elements in the air. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Cool. That's like, um... I think that's how they explained dragon fire in Reign of Fire. It was like two chemicals held separately in the dragon and then when they combined just outside the mouth they created like napalm that's cool uh i need to build ma'am too many hotkeys for joel today so now we can make protein out of that The remains researched belong to an organism that tends to nest near objects emitting specific types of resonance. Spitters are called as such due to their ability to create and spit plasma across long distances. Hmm. Spitter remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Oh. Hard drive. Timer for 10 minutes. Uh, Sam might be, might see the pillar where it is on top. Look for the highest pillar. Yeah. That probably it. Uh, there was a drop bot here, so I should mark that. Oh, 
Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm hitting tab to go to the next uh, part of the window like I'm in a spreadsheet and it's not working. Because it opens up my build menu. Oh, no. I really should get the um, the zip line. That's a much easier way to get around. Because you don't need to power the power poles. You can just use them as a zip line. I can probably just use concrete to get up here. doggo. Our last doggo did not. Oh, he's running away. Our last doggo didn't stick. something down there. That's not creepy at all. Summer Sloop. leave them alone. What might be of use in here though is um, the more mycelia if there's any mushrooms in the cave. And there is. A little resource gathering to kick off the stream. No complaints. Oh, single mode. Whoops. Here we go. Oh, is this a new drop pod? No, it's part of the one that's up there. Oh boy. All right, I guess we'll just use some concrete. Yeah, ramps and walkways. I don't have any walkways, but we'll do ramps. I 
It feels a little cheaty, but whatever. Uh, new camera and little Joel, sometimes big Joel. What was it changing? Was my camera changing? There's a ladder. I haven't, un I haven't unlocked it. Zero. There is a ladder though. Sorry, sweet Sandy. I don't follow. Oh, ing nerds! Whoa, you came back! Uh, came back to Joel's stream after six months and see the face cam possibly <laughs> the new norm. Yeah, it is. Sorry, um, ing nerds, I didn't see your comment. Yeah, we picked up a new Sony ZV-E10 for the Spun Chunks video podcast, and to get used to it, I'm also man. This is super high. Uh, I'm also using it um, on stream. That was a weird noise. That's not the normal build. Build noise. Well, we needed a purple power slug anyway. There it is. Yay. Thank you, Sandy. I feel like we would have had to do the same thing in the other direction. For the, um... For the one under the arch, which is over there. I feel like we would have had to do the same thing in the other direction and maybe be a little bit more treacherous. Now the question is, should we just build a miner on top of this and have it sent somewhere? Just a heads up, close to an hour in stream time. Thanks very much. Uh, Ing nerds, thanks very much. I'm glad that you like the cam. It's a bit to get used to. I've been a non-camera streamer and a, and a audio podcaster for 15 years so to be on camera is definitely different especially on a technical show like the spawn chunks where we've got to like read news and have like informed opinions it's a little bit more casual on stream which is nice um unfortunately the shot um going the other like the shot coming this way so i podcast i don't know if you can see it see it the podcast on the on the mac behind me and so the view of this pc and this setup is much nicer as a background on the podcast here it's kind of like the mac is off and the cintiq is off so like i need to do a little bit more maybe with behind me i do have more sound panels so you can see across the wall here uh these gray squares will continue i'm going to do more sound paneling i have them i just haven't put them up yet we're going to try to carry as much of this as we can Funny how Ada didn't, like, say anything when I picked it up. It's odd. How is that for timing? Nice. All right. Cross your fingers, eyes, toes. This one, right? Molded beam. That's a good one. Oh, encased industrial pipe. That is so good. We're not using it yet, but that's that's a good one to have. So I'm not going to re rescan this one. Good. Those are both Actually, that's kind of That's hard to have those both on the same one. This is better, but like it's hard to have these both on the same the same thing. This is definitely better. Uh, do we have 
Alien technology. Strange alien matter analysis completed. Dormant crystal and SAM can now be found with the resource scanner. Nice. In its dormant state, it is safe to handle without special equipment and can be stored indefinitely. Research for enabling the reanimation of dormant SAM is now available. Fill the rivers with blood and let the effigies defile our temples. The sun will follow. So the SAM has got its own voice too. Sam reanimation recipe unlocked. Sam can now be safely awakened, provided it is contained. Meaning, if not contained in special electromagnetic storage, it tends to start breaking atomic bonds of any matter it has physical contact with and reconstructing it into easily transportable resources. Scripture and blood compose harmony. Follow our hollow temple halls and listen to the echoes of your ripples. Our bones are more beautiful than yours. I really wish I had brought pipes. We could have unlocked that right away, too. Alright, I am going to grab more of this. We are going to trash... Actually, I should probably just take these. So one thing I think I might do, we don't have any power up here, but we're pretty close to our, our coal power is just down here, I think. Yeah, oh, okay, it's a little farther away than I thought. What I should do is, I can't leave a miner here because it'll, it just won't go anywhere. We should be okay. At least for the first little bit to unlock um, inventory stuff. That'll help a lot. Um, I also have the storage on the tractor once I get back down. I do, however, want to... I need to go across the way and get... Um, I ditch the plates. That was dumb. Uh. Huh? I'm actually going to make a tractor <laughs> just to use the storage <laughs> on the back for now. Uh, we'll grab that, grab that. I want to go get that hard drive before we go on break. Because then it'll, it'll do the, the thing. Uh, new save or old save? This is the new save. I have not tried the old save since the update yesterday. I thought I would just not bother to push my luck and just enjoy a nice crash-free stream Friday. I've also had a lot of feedback in chat from people that are fairly new to the game that are enjoying this playthrough. They seem to be learning a lot, so that's cool. This is maybe not the best idea. I've got no idea how quickly I can get in and out of there. I know I can blow some stuff up if I need to, but I don't want to anger. This might be too hard. We'll see. Quick, 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 like bunnies. Needs repairs. Turbo motor? Oh yeah, that's out of our league. 
I had the gear, I probably could have got it, but we just can't. That's fine. We'll still mark it. Maybe yellow, better color. I'll remind people too that my my um, settings for Creatures are on retaliate, so as long as I don't do anything with to them, then we're fine. And all that went into my inventory because I am just okay. What now? What would be a good way to lead a proper? Um, I guess if I go over this way. I do something out this way, maybe. I might have to come back up here. Although, no, this is going to be ugly. I'll just come back if I need to. This is the only tedious thing about doing this kind of like haphazard ramp attack thing is that no, this is what I was worried about. Falling and then not being able to reach the stuff to delete it. Doing that. Nope, I'm gonna die. That was close. You do forget sometimes how long the range is. Somewhere there's going to be a stack of bins. There it is. Nope. These are plates and rods, and I don't have any room for plates. I can delete the rods. And it still didn't give me enough room. No parachute yet. It's not unlocked. No, I was having a bottleneck with biomass and fabric. And we wanted the gas mask before we got anything else. This will help though. The SAM will, uh, if we can get the dimensional storage unlocked, then that will help with all this exploration because you can just start to upload stuff once we get our personal 
system sorted. Uh, I thought steering is a little rough. There we go. Put this in a constructor, I think. Yeah. Probably do this over here. SAM fluctuator recipe unlocked. The fluctuator can mimic unique communication through patterns of electric frequencies to instruct reanimated SAM to perform specific tasks or give specific restrictions, such as matter to energy conversion. It can also function as matter memory, reading the exact composition and state of a collection of matter in one location, breaking it down, and near instantly reconstructing it in another location, which has incredible potential for smart storage. Your threads shift solid to fluid to a tapestry. Matter, 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 and mind and melody. So now we need 11 of those and one of Mercer Sphere. Can I craft those myself? Can. Just that the reanimated Sam takes a while. Okay. I'm going to go on a short break while that is doing its thing. We'll be able to unlock the next level when we get back. And uh, as per usual, folks, I take a break once in an hour. Gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee. Uh, you should too. Uh, stand up, get a stretch. Uh, maybe tell a friend that we're streaming. Uh, there's a tweet out on Joel Duggan on Twitter. And uh, I'm about to throw a story up on Instagram on my break. So um, feel free to share it around. We're trying to grow the channel. Uh, always great to welcome in new people too. Uh, great to see some new faces in chat. <laughs> new faces, new names. And uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes.
And we're back. So, we need to check the SAM levels. Get this storage on the go. Sweet. Mercer Sphere. Eleven of those, right. What I should do is make a little workbench out here. I'm not running around like a chick with my head cut off. And that is no longer a good spot for that. Let's put that maybe. Hmm. I'm not convinced that's the best place for that still. Okay. Alien technology. Dimensional Depot. Let's go. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, sweet Sandy. Dimensional Depot unlocked. SAM can be utilized to deconstruct matter down to its chemical elements in one dimension, and the Mercer Sphere allows it to be transferred and stored in another. Once parts are fed into the Dimensional Depot, they can be accessed by the Pioneer Inventory and Build Gun System at any time, anywhere. We see through the window. It is pathetic. Consume more blood. The glass will not shatter. The metal will not bend. The wood will not splinter. Weave. So, the bottleneck now is uh, the fact that we have to handcraft the... SAM fluctuators because we don't have access to manufacturers yet and I need computers to do the manual depot uploader from our inventory so that is going to be tricky we might find computers at some of the drop pods um, I don't know uh, we also need computers to unlock power augmentation and circuit boards to unlock production amplifier so we're kind of stuck on the alien stuff for now uh, and again, I don't think that's the best place. What about... I really wish you could put these a lot closer to the machines. A little strange that you can't. Uh, maybe I can put this in between. Did I get rid of the nuts that I had? Oh no, they're in my hand. And I didn't end up getting more quartz. I do have this now though. Plastic. Hand equipment slot. Somewhere in here there was one that had like six slots, I thought. Oh, I can do this now. Just need more of them frames. I have to figure out how I'm gonna design this initial factory. I want it to look cool and I want us to have some sort of like base level storage. Hmm. 
If I'm lucky about what, Dan? Chat's a good 45 seconds behind sometimes. And equipment slot. Ethereum, alien technology. We're stuck there. Stuck here. Power slugs. I need one of you. Computers? Oh, yeah. Are they not the same everywhere, or is it a random drop? Synthetic power slugs. Research shards. completed. Purple power slugs seem to be near the end of their life cycle and have a significant amount of potential energy stored. It is a good thing fix it does not waste. Purple power slugs can now be processed into power shards. There's the six inventory slots, and it's silica that we need. Uh, gas mask, did the gas mask. Black powder we've got. I don't think we have any more research. Caterium. Smart splitters would be nice. Oh, this would also be good. More Caterium. I think I'm getting ahead of myself and I'm creating more work. So. I don't think I necessarily need the berries, although it's good to have have a couple on hand for if we see a doggo. We could certainly get a bunch of tickets by putting some of that Sam into um, into the awesome sink if we ever wanted to. Just out of curiosity, what does one of those get us in terms of tickets? Just curious. Oh, crap. So the next coupon is 3,900 away. These look really cool too. Only 200. Wow, that's not nearly as much as I thought. 160 for one of those. That's not great. I thought that would be a lot more. All right, we can do the milestone. Because I picked those up at a crash site, I think. So close. Where are all the, the sheets? Am I not making sheets anymore? Oh, they're not being stored. Crap. Um... That's a merger. I 
I do a lift? Nope. Um, hmm. I think I'll just temporarily put that in there. And then I'll worry about this later. Need to build up some more sheets. Charlotte Harper, hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. How'd you find the stream? Milestone reached. By adding hypertube entrances well, at you. both ends of hypertubes, pioneers can achieve two-way travel between locations. Hypertubes. They are also error percent safer than jump pads. <laughs> you dreamed of moving across factories like valued resources, such as rocks and water, and fix it, listen to your dreams. We watched them. We took extensive notes. Hypertubes. Because fix it makes pioneers closely monitored dreams come true. Closely monitored dreams. <laughs> Well played, well played. Uh, we need to do, we can't get that until we do the space elevator. So we are at the end of tier four. This is the last. So we need to, that's an awful lot of stuff up on the screen. Don't need rotors for any of that. I do need a 2x of modular frame production though. Temporarily. I know I can do the beams. The beams are simple. That's done. Oh, it's not back yet. Um, 2,000 wires should not be a problem. Fifty encased industrial beams. I can just make those. Charlotte, I appreciate the follow on Twitter, but I don't do follow for follow. I've got a TIE fighter model on top of my tower, my computer tower. It's a Lego model and the stand is really flimsy and even just me talking shakes the model and I'm worried that the camera is shaking because it's attached to the same desk but like I'm not shaking the desk it's just that, that TIE fighter stand is so flimsy that it shakes with just breath. It's wild. Alright so we can do 50 of those. And the last one is 200. I had close to 200 of these. We're at one, two, three, two, 170, plus whatever's over here. This has been going the whole time we've been away. We're pretty close. And more.
Cool. So that is all set to go. That will complete tier four. Give us access to power storage and some power towers, which will make getting power across the map a lot easier. Uh, but we are stuck until we can finish the next mile phase, next space elevator phase. Smart plating versatile framework, which is those and steel, and then wire, cable. Automated wiring. Staters. I don't even know if we have the recipe for staters unlocked yet. I think our sulfur thing needed anymore. No. Just a hand slot. Hi there, how's it going? Good to see you again. Hi, I see you've added 11 to the end of your name. All right, we need to figure out what's next for this. So we do modular frame automation. I need to increase that. Two per minute and what do we need for it was the versatile framework one to twelve so yeah i'd like to 2x that and then Automated wiring. Don't want to worry about stators just now. And smart plating is rotors and plates. So yeah, we really need to kick up things a notch, which I think means we have to start adding miners. And we need to have like, I think I need to make just like a smelting building. And have that be kind of like the first, the first thing we do. I'm just waiting for this guy to come back and I guess because I took it off I'm not getting a timer less than a minute okay cool so where are we in space here so I can easily build up and around this rock I can blow that up. Oh. Now that we have hyper tubes, I might make myself a better tower. Maybe over there. So I've got impure iron over there. I've got normal iron here. And 
And there's some other resources up this way too. Unfortunately, our concrete is not great here. So I want to try and come up with some better way for our other productions. Camera froze. That's weird. Thanks for the heads up, Dan. I wonder what's happening there. It's an odd thing to have happen. Give me a second here, folks. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. It's back now. Hmm. Uh, that's the second. So when I first turned on the stream today, OBS wasn't reading the camera. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the camera. Um, when I look at the back of it, the screen is still on. Uh, the camera is not. No, it's not warm. Just a note for everyone in chat. Looks like there's a couple of bots kicking around. Um, anybody that has moderator status, if you see somebody ask me about Twitter or ask about a follow back on Twitter, just ban them. I, we don't have to entertain the idea that they might be a real person. Um, I'm not interested in, in that. It's unfortunate that we deal with bots these days, but uh, we can just auto ban those folks. Um, we now need to figure out what we're going to do for building. Yeah, let's um let's get a little higher perhaps. Well, it's dark and it doesn't really matter. So one of the things I like to do when I have something to build is get up a lot higher and look at where I might want to plan things. And one way to do that is to use hypertubes, which we now have access to. Uh, let's go with transport. Do, do, do. Support hypertube. Tube entrance. I guess I'll worry about that later. I 
this is where I really should unlock um, some ladders. Saw it. I could have sworn I saw it show up. One thing we might be able to do. Uh, wall attachments, floor holes, two tickets. That is definitely going to be worth it. As Fixit amply demonstrates, you can never have too much management. That makes things a lot easier. And now we just need to power it with an entrance. That's better. Oh, except for now I can't get down. <laughs> oh, can I build a gel pad thing? Nope, no biomass. Okay. Oh, I gotta remember about this flight path of this guy too. We end up building up high. So, uh, this is a really good overview of what we've got going on here. And gives me some ideas about what space limits I might have, because I'd want to leave areas on either side for roads. There's a lot of space here. This would actually be probably a better place to build a factory would be where the space elevator is. We can always move the space elevator somewhere else. That's fine. I don't mind that. Um, This I always this always feels like a cramped space for me to build because you've got this kind of rocky thing here that you can't move and you've got this rocky thing here that you can't move. Uh, the denouement? Never too much management from the same voice that evenly just tells you file a claim for brain trauma and then seems to stop caring about the voices you're hearing? Yeah, 100%, right? Okay, so I think over there is definitely the better place. That is something we can't move, but we can build above it, which is fine. That gives us a lot more room. And then if we're building above all this, we don't have to worry about um, blowing up all the rocks. And this is already on the same grid. Right, so we're already there. We'll have to change the path for the tractor, but that's fine. So as far as nodes go, got three normal and two impure. Lots of iron over here, but they're all impure as far as I remember. Yeah. I think we can just do one marker here. Well, no, we'll probably have to Oh, I don't have an iron color, do I? A good color for iron. 20%. And that's going to steal.
I wish we could zoom in more on the map. That would be helpful. And these are both impure. Can we copy these at all? Does not look like it. No. Okay. So these I don't think are going to be worth doing anything other than just hitting them with a miner. Whoops. It's cool that you can hear the moth go by when you're high enough. Um... You can bottom right of the map. I'm already zoomed in as far as you can. Yeah, I need to maybe start to place these a little bit farther apart, unfortunately. Where's the one I just placed? Players. Yeah, it doesn't show all of them. It just shows the ones that you've got labeled. Yeah, it might be better for clusters to do like one single, one single annotation, you know? And we can't really do, I don't want to do a big screw production yet because we don't have the right hard drive. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to scan for? Copper. This is normal. Ah, that's right. That's where the other copper is. Impure. Purity temp? Impure. I don't know what purity temp means. That's normal.
And I had those down anyway. Uh, they're both impure. I don't know why there was a third one there. That was strange. Uh, and then untapped over there. Didn't see any others nearby. That's going to be our first two priorities. Is going to be copper and iron production in like a larger capacity. Just the three, huh? Just the three. All right, then. So, I'd say we build a small smelting facility here. That will turn everything into iron ingots. And then we will move the ingots to another facility to be turned into other things. And during that time, we can maybe look for hard drives and see what we can do to expand our options. Because right now the bottleneck is going to be screws. That's going to be the big thing. Okay. Uh, down, 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 down. Let's go this way. Running on thin air. I needed a hypertube entrance. What does that need? Encased industrial beams. Yeah, when they're that close, just make three comments. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for being awesome, Sandy. I really appreciate the mod situation being a little sticky right now. So now we just need to power this. And I do have wall cables, which is good. This would be fun. Back down. Nice. Excellent. All right, so we're going to need um, some Mark II miners. Nope, that's a Mark. I need one, two, three. Oh, and our thing is back too. We can sort that out as well. Do this. Expand the power infrastructure. Go, go. Milestone reached. After several pioneers started exhibiting traumatic responses to power blackouts, Fixit developed mitigation tools recommended by your local therapist. Power storages can hold excess mm -hmm. power to delay or prevent blackouts in the eventuality that your factory's power consumption exceeds production. To simplify, these are rechargeable batteries. Power towers carry power lines for significantly greater distances than poles, facilitating factory expansion and exploitation of this environment for the good of Fixit and humanity. <laughs> exploitation for the good of humanity. Excellent. Uh, where are we looking? New stuff. We are looking into power. So we've got the power tower. These are massive. These are big, big suckers. I like these a lot. Sometimes I wish they were look a, a little bit more sci-fi. Uh, and then we've got the batteries. They look like that. And 
Anything else new? Dimensional Depot. I should build at least one of those. What I think is really cool um, that I saw Total Eclipse do is that he puts a Dimensional Depot next to every one of his storage bins that's making something so that his machines are like directly uploading to the cloud. It's pretty cool. I think we can download from the cloud once we have it up there, but we can't upload from our inventory yet. The main status. Uh, I'm going to save the game because that is tier four complete. Is it tier four point something? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have to do unlock on the, um, on the space elevator. Okay. Miners. We need production. Three of those. I should only need three portable miners because we already have have three, but I'll make three more. I wonder if they fix that. Not sure. And what else do I need? We're going to need, there's already some smelters over there. So a normal node that's doing 2x this is going to do 120 but we can get it up to 300 if I can make enough power shards. And I think putting um, power shards on the nodes is probably the best idea right now. So we've got at least six power shards. So we can turn those into usually overclocking your miners in this stage of the game is the best course of action. So that's only enough to do two of the three miners. And I might want to do it. For, I want to also overclock the copper as well. So we do need more power slugs. So I'll put that on our to-do list. And I also need to temporarily increase some stuff while we're working. That's back. So we've got, oh man, yeah, that's a lot of smelters, okay. Not so much worried about this now. Let's, this is expandable as it is while we're working. So what do I need to make more, am I, am I making rotors at all? I'm not making rotors at all anymore. I can expand these just by upgrading the miners right now. And I think that will help us with our rotors. And we don't have a screw recipe. We 
we don't have the alternate yet. It's so frustrating when you are someone that knows the expansion on the game and knows what's coming. All right, I feel like I can get rid of some of this and we can use this for our temporary melting. I need four. Just got home from sinus surgery, big head face. Wow. Hopefully I'll be able to to breathe soon. Wow. <laughs> Nose breathe soon. Wow. That sounds rough. I hope you have a speedy recovery. Although, <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but like, big head face comes into chat and says, Hey, I just got home from sinus surgery. So I'd imagine that big head face right now feels pretty big head face. <laughs> it's right there. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Feel better soon. That sucks. I deal with sinus allergies all the time, and it's it is un uncool. Feels very very big. Yes, I imagine. Take care. Make sure you're doing all the things that the doctors want you to do. So that is now 120, and you'll see if we if we increase this with the power shards, then we can get this up to 300. But we can't. We can just. We can't even do that on a belt yet, right? So the most we can fit on a belt is 270. At the moment. So I'm actually going to take this down and we'll do 120. Because that alone is going to double this. That's 120, and this is being split into 60 and 60. Uh, so this. Can actually get changed, and I can probably move this back when I'm not standing on a thing. So to double check that, this is doing 120 on a Mark II belt, then it goes 60 and 60, and then it goes 30 and 30, and then 30 and 30. Just as a quick way to get this going, we now have these producing all of these things, and these only need 20 per minute. And they are getting, if, no, they need 30 per minute, and it's not quite getting that. It's getting 15, I think. Yeah, that's 30. So we can actually get rid of this. I know it could go through the rock, but we're going to go up over it. So 
this is now taking 30 iron ingots per minute and making 20 plates. And these plates are going over there and going into storage. Almost an hour since last break. Thanks, Sandy. Uh, oh, yeah, the sun is in the middle. Um, let's do... Yeah, I should make sure I do this. Stay on track. I'm gonna stay on track. For the breaks, I mean. Uh, I just need to put this into something. Uh, why are you... We're going to have to cross the streams here. That's only 30. So what we should do is connect these up. This needs... Oh, this probably only needed 15. Well, now it's getting 30. Yeah. I messed that up. That's fine. We'll fix it after. I missed the brake train. It's such a nice way to show you guys around the factory. Now we have a better vantage point, though. I guess I could always get in the tractor. All right, folks, I'm going to take another short break. Uh, give me about five or six minutes. I'll be right back.
So I'm really not sure how to do this without completely disrupting a lot of our automation here. So I think what I need to do is disconnect the screws and just rethink how we're going to do the um, the iron stuff. I think it just has to be a little bit more organized and I need to get eight smelters across there and then figure out what we're going to do after that. Thank you, Sandy. Appreciate it. And I feel like this is also at a bottleneck too. So what I should do here is make good on my notes to 2x this production right now. Why are you... Let's go with splitter. And this is merger. Why is that going into this? Oh, because I have to go on the other side, right. Modular frames and power. Uh, easiest way to do this is just going to be bin. So I know that the belts are hooked up. I just don't know if the numbers are going to be right. Uh, this has got not enough plates coming into it because I think I screwed up the plates. So this is going to be easily doing 25 per minute, uh, 5 per minute, 10 per minute. This only needs 
six, so that's fine. And it needs 12 rods. And I would say we're producing more than 12 rods. Fifteen, so we could use a little bit more on that right now. So why don't we... You're doing 20 per minute, but you're slow. Why are you only at 50%? Oh, because you're on the other miner. Right. Okay. Let's upgrade this miner then, too. Uh, I need to get these beams starting to be made automatically as well. I think that's a thing. I'm starting to run into this a lot. Kate v VTuber, thanks for the follow. Quick question, Kate. Are you a bot? Not that we'd believe you if you said yes or no. I like the look of these uh, red miners, too. They're pretty fun. So we'll backtrack this a little bit as well. Oh, that's my rods. All right. Let's uh, just torque all of this. We're going to have to rebuild this, I think, a couple times. That's all done, but then these power poles are a little sketchy. And this one is going to the miner, so I'll have to do this first. Now these guys are doing rods because they're being made into screws, right? Yes. Uh-oh. So we can do a mini manifold here. I think probably the easiest way to do that. So we'll just merge everything. These guys were powering, I think, all of these. So this is 30, 15, 
that's a rod. Oh, 30 and 15. This is also making rods. I need more than one of those making rods. Let's make... These are just going to storage? No. That's doing 20 per minute. And this is doing... This we can just straight up feed. You're good. Uh, this guy needs 15 and that's already making screws. Why is this? This needs stuff, okay. And that should be good. Jaycrest, you're not kidding, yeah. I shouted it again to Sandy in the mods. Um, now I need... So this is making rods, but they're just going to... Way over there. So I could back that up and make more rods, because I think the rods are low. We're making 15. And we need 24. So I could do two of these. Off of one. myself just a little bit more room. This will just speed things up considerably. And then we can merge these two things together. As this is going to be replaced. That is just going to stop doing its thing. I don't need that to be a merger. And we can... I'll just leave that there, I guess. And just merge this here. We've got 30 rods. Yep. Going over to the modular frame. So these should be now at 100%. They already seem to be. I don't know how that's possible. I guess there was a backlog, maybe?
and the other thing we need to do is the versatile framework. Steel beams, and that is five per minute. Two fifty, two hundred. And this is actually full. Holy nuggets. Modular frames and steel beams. So I can put the steel beams in there and I can take the modular frames and send them all over that way. Will you reach? Not quite. Going the right way. Was oh, this an input? That's an input, isn't it? Yeah, that's why. And then we just snake this around. I am out of plates. Are you kidding? At least I know where everything is. making 15 per minute. This is making four, I think. Four per minute. What do we need? Two point five and thirty. So really Gonna be overkill, but that's fine. That means this will just back up in the in the system. 
So the bottleneck is going to be the slower steel beams. I could temporarily make steel beams here. We have enough pipes, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's switch you to beams. And I'll merge this instead. So strange it doesn't work. Oh, because that's a merger. This is the output. Cool. So we've got now 30 beams. This is going to be 100% going once it's powered. And five per minute. So that will happen in the background. Yeah, eats plates faster than anybody else you know because of all the spaghetti. It's fair. I just want to get through this section of progress. I, I know I cut off something back here, though. Yeah, these guys aren't getting any iron anymore. And they need rods. These rods are going to modular frames, so I need more rods. And these guys need 30 rods, and that's two constructors. So they need one smelter. So I can do that again, no problem. I'll have one of them here. That's a splitter. I need a merger. They are going to need power. And how are we doing for power, by the way? Oh, we're good. And then this guy. Now we've got 30 ingots going into rod production. So that's 15 a piece. So that's now 30 rods coming out and that's going into our screws and our screws are being divided currently between the two Heavy modular frames. Now, where are those screws supposed to be coming from? That's these screws, and these screws are... This guy needs 15, but he's getting 30. And this guy needs 15, and he's getting nothing. So I screwed that up before the break. So now that's full production, and that's sending more than enough into there.
And then somewhere I also left a little box. I don't see where those went. Just my little crates. Oh, they're there, right. When you start removing belts, it eats up your inventory pretty fast. Oh, how'd that get a mix? That's no good. Glad I caught that. Must have been still some inside the merger. Okay, that's good. You're lost? Sorry, did I go too fast? If somebody's got a question in chat, by all means, like throw, throw it in. I'll do my best. Too many belts. Let me just get higher. So, um, there are some plates happening back there, but these uh, happening here, we've got one smelter going into two constructors these are each doing rods that are making screws the screws are then going around into reinforced iron plates we've also got uh, these constructors making rods here those rods are going all the way over to modular frames and then we have these constructors making rods that are being made into screws that are also going into reinforced iron plates. Uh, and then we've just got plate production over here and that plate production is going across to modular, or heavy modular, no, what are they called? Reinforced iron plates. And then some of those plates are actually going into storage. Uh, but this part's kind of messy because it was the original kind of setup. That's what's going on. Does that make sense? And then we've got the modular frames coming out and going into here. Essentially what I've done was I put everything into a bin, built up a good store of steel, and now all of our steel production has been repurposed to just make beams for the versatile framework, which you can see at the top left, top right part of the screen, sorry, is um, what we need for Space elevator, the next space elevator part. And that is at 18 out of 1,000. And it's only operating at 50% speed. But it's climbing, so it should operate at 100% speed. So, if I do the math, we are doing 5 per minute. We need 1,000. 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. So it's... Two hundred minutes, right? Which is unfortunately like three hours. Yeah, three and a half hours to get that sorted. So that's going to be a while. Um, and then the smart plating. Needs rotors and sheets or ro rotors and reinforced iron plates, but almost all of our reinforced iron plates going in here we need six and we're making ten so I have four extra that I could put into another um, another machine 
off of this splitter. And then that's going to make um, smart plating, but smart plating requires rotors. And we are currently just not making rotors right now. Because I basically ran out of space. I need to double check that this is going to be enough. This is going to be 60 ore per minute. Why can I not check this machine? Yeah, the hitboxes in the machine need to be updated, I think. Yeah, so this will go constantly. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's okay. Not the best. Uh, and I'm still missing things like cast screws. We do have stitched iron plates, so I I think that I get that recipe. I think that was the one that I needed. Right. Iron wire, but I don't have I don't have stitched iron plates. Well I wouldn't mind going and grabbing another hard drive and seeing what we can grab on it. That would be my next mission, I think. The only thing is that we don't have we're not using we've got one more smelter that we're not really using. So I kinda wanna see if I can get that going. So what we could use this for is, I think, plates for these guys. 30 plates per minute. So this needs 60 plates, and it's only getting... Whatever this is making. 20 plates per minute. Whatever this thing is making. It's making 20, but I think some of it's being sent. Yeah, I don't know the math on this. Not going anywhere, I don't think. So that one should be good. Yeah, it's the problem of not using a main bus, right? Is that we're just kind of like one-to-one -one chaining everything together. What do I need in my inventory here? I don't need this many rods. Definitely need more cable too.
Cool. Uh, no intentions of going vertical. No, not yet. I, I will. Obviously, when I build something, I, I will. Can you <laughs> can you repeat the part where you said the stuff about the things? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, this is the stage where it just start, it gets really confusing until you can get to the next phase of the sports of the uh, the elevator. Uh, what is the wiring? Automated wiring. Oh, this is the stators. Stators, pipes, and wire. So we could do stators here manually. Uh, does anybody know what stators stack to? Probably a hundred like rotors, right? Sun. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, can't use that other thing. I wanted to do rotors, is the other thing we're not making. be easiest to just manually feed something. Because I don't think I had the other... I had. The, did I get the steel rotor recipe? I think I did. Stator stack to 100? Cool. Thanks, Andy. Hard drive hunt, I think, is is next. Uh, so let's... We can't do the inventory on the alien technology, but I can at least build one and use it to manually upload some stuff. One Mercer Sphere and ten Sam Fluctuators. Now, what is going to be the best thing to put into this storage, I'd imagine? That's the input, so it's have to go the other way around. I thought this was a pretty cool design that I saw Total Eclipse do. So we've got that 15 per minute. What item do we think we would need the most of out in the field? 
My guess is probably concrete. Right? For building? Yeah. So this is just going to happen one bit at a time. <clears throat> oh, I can only put one stack up there anyway. So now in our inventory, we have the ability to um, pull from the depot, but I can't upload yet. Uploading is going to be really handy when we eventually get there. I need more explosives. I think maybe we should try to get some Caterium temporarily going. Also do some temp um, some temp beams uh, oops. three to six we do have the alternate recipe for that Six to five to one. Hmm. So I've got two different directions. I can go to get the Caterium and start to have that be maybe brought over with the truck. And I could also go in this direction and go for some hard drives as well. We got one. No, that's one that's undoable. There are other hard drives up here. And there's also sulfur over there too. Put my first Mercer storage up with the Sam and Miner and a biofuel burner. Oh, cool. You got that early. You got that early. This is the problem with this stage of the game is that you're really stuck until you can get to the, to the next space elevator parts. You kind of have to make a bunch of temporary stuff, which is annoying. I feel like the first thing I wanted to tackle is like motors with a proper factory. I feel like that's probably the best best thing to do. I also feel like I'm wasting time not putting any tickets in here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Time, it takes time to get all the parts. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. So I could smelt some of this stuff. I turn it into rods and screws. That's what rotors take, right? 
Yeah, let's do that. See if I can get it going to here. Even if it's just like a temporary set of things. At least they'll be being made while we're away. You're going to be making rods. You're going to be making rods. Actually, you're going to be making... You're going to make screws? No. We'll have somebody else make rods. We're gonna make rotors and then we just have to split this that's gonna be 30 ingots coming out right yep and you're gonna make rods you're gonna make rods I just need to power you No wire. <laughs> I feel like a leapfrog. I'm not doing it on, out of interest. I'm doing it out of necessity. Can you imagine trying to get around this thing without the Blade Runners? Like, wow. Really, really difficult to do. Uh, let's go with you. You're going to both make rods, uh, and then you are going to make screws, and you are going to make rotors. And we just need power. And the rotors, we will, I guess, just have to send into a bin for now. And that needs 100 screws per minute, but we are only making something like... 40. That's making 15. Needs 10. 
I could increase it a little bit. Settle up at least to 60%. Cool. All right. I feel good about going for some hard drives now. Uh, I parked over here. I think I feel like we have a little bit of everything. I maybe don't want to bring all of my power shards just in case I fall off of something and things go very, very badly. I also think I need to take another break before I go running around. bring the Sam with me either. Took the words out of my writing. I did. Good. Same page then. I'm the same page. I feel like I'm a little all over the place all of a sudden. Try not to be. Um, I'm good with that. Grab a few more pipes if I got them. More power slugs, crystal, and silica are on the list. So once again, folks, I take a break once an hour, and it is that time. I want to stay on top of these today. So I'm going to pop up to my little AFK platform. You'll get to watch all the spaghetti in, in motion. I don't think that's too bad. It feel, I feel like it's a lot more organized, certainly through here. Uh, it's just some of this stuff is a little bit wonky and I, I really need this is a real problem That's the other bottleneck um, We could also save a lot of space if I just removed all of the old power system. I just haven't bothered to do that yet um, on the off chance we lose power I um, I Wanted to make sure that we had a backup uh, In case we needed to power something separately So uh, before I go on that hard drive hunt, uh, what we will do though is try to load some stuff into the awesome sink because I really need to grab a couple more tickets. Um, anyway, I will be back in five or six minutes.
Okay, let's just pop down here. This is always the fun. I love hypertubes. Now, I said there was something I wanted to do before I went on the hard drive hunt, and I don't remember what that is. Anybody remember what I said? Word Nerdify, hello. Life is treating me great, thank you very much. It's been a fun week. Lots of satisfactory. Made a lot of progress on the tiers. We are now stuck ahead of phase five. We are trying to do the top. Um, we're trying to complete phase two? No. We're stuck ahead of tier five. We need to complete phase two of the um, space elevator. Trying to remember whether there was anything else I needed to do before I took off, but I think we're good. Oh, you know what it was? It was, um, it was the, uh, zip line thing. I wonder if I have enough to unlock that. I did not really leave myself very many opportunities to get around here. Where is that? Caterium? Right. That takes too much work. Okay. Maybe I should just spend the tickets on the ladders. Three tickets for ladders? That's probably going to save me a lot of time. Well, I've got enough of these I can probably make. Could probably just use the other the other ladders. That's fine. What do these cost? Twenty each. I'll bring two stacks, so we'll be fine. John T. Pepper, good afternoon, Joel. First time watching your satisfactory streams. Usually I only watch the Minecraft ones. Oh, welcome in. We'll be doing Minecraft tomorrow, Saturday? Yeah. Uh, probably both. We'll probably start with Minecraft at the normal time and then switch over to satisfactory after a couple hours. Now, which direction do I want to go in over here? Where am I? I want to go to the right. We've got iron nodes over here too, but I'm not sure how I want to collect those yet. I want to say some of the hard drives are over this way. But that looks like a lot of vertical... Oh, there's one. I see it over there.
for this, we can probably just use the concrete foundations. Let's put that on a hot key. Like using trucks for these far out ones. Oh yeah, totally. That's uh, the using the vehicles is a great way to do it. Uh, I don't think I can scan for hard drives yet, so we're just gonna have to do this. Uneven. Question is, what does this need? Oh, no repairs. Oh, 40 megawatts. That's fine. No computers, no goodies, nothing that's really of any use to us at this stage. We're making all that stuff already. Success. The hard drive contained both data and the soul of this crater. Disconnecting it has destroyed the soul, but the data can be analyzed in the MAM, so everything <laughs> is okay. That's funny. Uh, ma'am. Keep your fingers crossed for a good recipe, folks. This is freaky. You really do launch yourself off the sides of things quite far with the Blade Runners. Look at this before we move on. Dear Coffee Stain, please have normal text interaction in your UI. I almost said it again. Too much time in spreadsheets. Uh... I think there's probably more up around the edge higher, so we're going to go back down. So that's one. Maybe I'll see if I can get two or three, maybe.
Can I get through there? I think I can go left. Where's the edge here? You can actually hear the air around that hole. That's kind of cool. Cave. Does that cave take us anywhere cool? Probably pops us out somewhere higher. Do we want to go in the cave? Rachel Oxy, hello. Well, we wanted more power slugs. You've never been in here, Sandy? Me either. I don't normally play in this area. I tend to I tend to stay the, the, to the outskirts because on the Devastator save, for the longest time until they had the option, I I've left all normal play. So like going into the middle of the map was just deadly and frustrating, and so I didn't bother. Oh, right. That's where the uh, uranium is. I forgot about that. Let me get up there. Ooh, that's a big one. No, thank you. I don't know if by killing one of these guys for the um, stuff in the MAM, if we anger all of them? Or just the one that we attack. So I'm not gonna not gonna risk it. Just one, says Dan. We need some mycelia as well, so this is good. Be good for the parachute fabric. I'm not sure if this is a dead end cave or if it's a. Oh. It's gonna pop us out somewhere. Can I not get up here? There we go. You play on passive? Yeah. I thought retaliation would just mean like, it's basically passive as long as you don't mess up and try to get them. I think that's fine. And this is a pure uranium node, I guess. Normal.
I mean, obviously we have to make it neon green, right? Like that kind of... The radioactive, the, the Ninja Turtle ooze. Couple stacks of mycelia. Oh, did that make all of them angry? Just one. I never thought about running them over with the truck. That's a good idea. Aha! Samples of unknown alien species acquired. Initial data suggests these are predators, but notably they do not have a traditional mouth or eyes. There are, however, numerous cavities on their head which could fulfill a similar function. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. I'm down off the rocks, I can run you over. This should be some easy tickets once we get that going. I've got no idea if this... I mean, it must let us out. Definitely a way up. Was that the end of you? Or did you just get angry? So they do get angry if you hit them with the truck and they're not um, already dead. Man, research is complete. And my tractor is stuck in a rock. Steel rod and quick wire stator. Neither of those are good for me. Should we just re-roll? I think we should just re-roll. Bolted iron plate. Deep silica. Again, that's not bad. Crap. Right. Uh, I need to make the tractor again. Yeah, I have to do that. Really got turned around. It's really cool with all the little um, kind of bioluminescent, almost coral-like plants everywhere. Oh, there's a power slug.
Yay, the light of day. <laughs> Just in time for sunset. Or maybe sunrise? Probably sunset. Turing79, thanks for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in. What are we up to on stream today? Thanks for giving the shout out to Turing, sweet Sandy. So we are way over there. So I'm facing the right direction. Uh, do you still have mobs on passive? I uh, know they're on uh, retaliate. Yeah. What is that? Oh, coal. We finished our auto storage, died, removed the hardcore tag using an NBT editor, and then got our stuff back uh, in Minecraft. Very cool. Very, very cool. I've never done the whole hardcore thing in Minecraft. I don't think it's ever been appealing to me. We are way outside of where I thought I was going to be. I need to go this way, I think. I've seen this in other people's playthroughs, but I've never actually been up here myself, I don't think. Uh, watching your fo first mod was the first time I ever knew we could do that. There's lots of really cool options now in the game which is great for players of all kind of skill levels and people that just may not be interested in PvE at all, which I think is good. All right, so this is where I feel like there's going to be hard drives along here. So I need to go kind of like hug the ridge to the right and not go too far down. This quartz is really nowhere I thought it was. Feel like there's a bit of a clearing up here, yeah. And it's a big bug. Power slug. Okay, I think I know where the quartz is now. It is the one that I got before um, in my other playthrough, but I'm surprised it's this far away. Pretty sure it's up here. Or not. I walked right by him. Oh, I just hadn't gone far enough. There's two. Where are the other ones? Down there. I don't know if this is close enough. It's pretty far. 
We're going to load up the tractor anyway. Inventory storage going here. That, 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 that. Thanks again for the raid, Turing. Uh, anybody that came in with Turing's raid, uh, I do satisfactory a lot lately because of the the release but we also stream minecraft normally it's a little bit more evenly split um but um with the release of satisfactory and uh, a lot of attention on it we've been focusing on it and having a lot of fun too so uh i'll be back in minecraft tomorrow at one o'clock atlantic that's utc minus four hours and uh, we'll probably play a couple hours of minecraft and a couple hours of satisfactory on stream tomorrow Turing says I was never really a hardcore person, to be honest. I always intended to remove the tag. I just wanted to see how long I could last. That's fair. I'm just not a big fan of early Minecraft. Like, I, the early game Minecraft is not my biggest thing. Um, not that I'm a huge fan of early game Satisfactory either, but we've blown through the first... We got to Tier 4 in, like, 5 or 6 hours. Trying to remember what in the MAM under quartz is tied to silica. Alright, crystal and the inventory slots. That's the big thing. And I just want it for signs and building and stuff. So we've got normal node. And pure node. So this is probably too close together to mark separately on the map. Actually, that's not bad. And this is the pure one, right? Excellent. And now we just have to get back down. And it is too straight ahead and right. Although, I don't think I can scan for hard drives yet. No. With the sun coming up, though, might be able to see something since we are up high. Yep, 
Oh, there's one. That is a lot of muscle. What are you protecting? Access to the hard drive, maybe? My goodness. Oh, there's one right here. Any goodies around? Oh, silica I'll take. Same with quickwire. This kind of stuff goes a lot faster now with the retaliation mode. Or if you're using passive. That just seems like a lot of muscle for one, one thing. That's the remains of it there. No other parts that I can see. Those guys are really wild looking. Are those? No, they're not radioactive. Those are a different kind of hog. They're like a sulfur hog or something? Huh. There is one more over there. I don't think I'm going to bother to get that right now. What I will do, though, is estimate which which peak do we think it's on? That one? Might be on the middle one. Might be there. Tab. Silly tab. Sorry, folks. I wonder if I should bother to make that bigger as a, a reminder that we haven't gotten that one. I also think we can take them drop pods. I think a lot of the stuff we can start to take off of the HUD now or the, yeah, the compass. Need to categorize your map like this? This is so smart. Uh, just Amanda NN. I think that's how you say your name, right? Just a man. Just a madman, maybe. Just a madman. I got, I got there in the end. I got there in the end. Welcome in. How do you choose the color so fast? You can, um, hold on, under, when you make a color, before you hit select color, hit save and give it a name. And then pre after you've given it a name, you can then load a preset. So you can do 70% gray, 40% red, quartz, copper, deuterium. Like you just call them whatever you want. Just know that they, they list them, um, I thought it was alphabetical, but I think it's alphabetical, but also what you've used most recently. Because um, obviously red does not come before blue, so 
I don't know how they organize this, which is unfortunate. Um, but it's it's handy for later on when you're trying to be like consistent with your building. Uh, I use hex codes colors for each resource according to Google. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's a cool way to do it too. I just kind of eyeball it for fun. Right. I need to figure out where I'm going here. I think we just go straight down the hill. Keep my eyes peeled for any drop pods. Oh, I should research that in the MAM if I have not already. Just a madman. I just completed phase one last night. Very cool. We are stuck um, until we can get to phase two. That's kind of where we are. And I haven't expanded the base and redone my factory because I'm trying to find some alternate recipes. Are you brand new to the game? Oh, hello, Power Slug. I see you. So we're trying to gather a few extra resources. And then we're heading back down. I'm not going too far out of my way. Can I go this way? No, I took a wrong turn. Need to go all the way down. Have not played since update 2. Kinda. I had the game for a long time, but didn't start playing until 1.0. Oh, wow. Cool. Well, that's really awesome that you supported and then ended up waiting for 1.0. Oh, There's a bunch of nodes and stuff around. We are going to go down this hill. I feel like they've made this trickier to drive. I don't remember it being this hard before. Whee. I didn't see any other hard drives around. There's a slug up there. Right. This is a really bizarre area. Like it's more about resource collection. I don't know what you would do to build down here. It was steep before too. Uh I bet you weren't able to run up the hill. No, I don't think we were. Oh, I did not see him there. Are you still alive? You are still alive. Should I do it? Yeah, why not? Enough damage from the truck. Fill the hole with concrete? Yeah, I could do that too. Gives you a decent amount of space. I'm remembering that there's iron nodes up here too that we could consume and turn into an ingot factory. Just do like one big ingot factory. That could be one way to, to go. I'm not sure what the best approach is actually. In Devastator, I do floors. Like, I do big floors. 
that are set to do certain things. Oh, I need to should bring this closer to the other storage. Nope. What other game do I play? I play Minecraft. Uh, we've played some No Man's Sky. Uh, I tried Starfield, but did not like it. And what else have we tried? Uh, Oxygen Not Included was really fun. I'm going to need a different bin. kind of funky looking I wish they made the like the back of that like a little bit larger I always miss it that's all the quartz and then we've got this that can move Celia, turn the wood into biomass. Might as well store these in the same spot. And we've got three minutes. Okay. Let's. You're done with staters, I imagine? Yeah. And did I put our rotors into a bin? I don't know if I did. I did. Sweet. Lots. Excellent. How are we doing for... Oh, these are backed up. Oh, I should have put these into a bin. Uh, they only stacked to 50. That was dumb. Oh, that was dumb. We were gone for like an hour. <laughs> Crap. I could have planned that better. Nuggets. Oh, well. Honestly, I could probably AFK and just let that go. Oh, well. Funny how I remember to put a bin on the routers, but not on the one thing I wanted to have more of, right? Uh, we can make this... We can make the automated wiring now. So I have 100 routers. I keep calling them routers. The rotors. we'll get there. These probably don't stack very well. And then I needed some silica, so we'll do some quartz silica here.
three to five. So we're at the stage where I think that things like automated wiring, quartz, and silica and stuff are the things that are being sort of semi-automated or manually feeding the machines. I'm pretty familiar with the map. I think I'm more familiar with like the, the grass fields and then up around into the desert up here, but in the middle, I and certainly in the middle on the on the um, east side, I really don't know what's going on. I think this might be an easier quartz thing to get to. Cross your fingers, folks, for a good recipe. Stitched iron plates. We did it. We got it. Fantastic. What a great way to end the stream. Uh, we are going to absolutely select that. So that is... The only thing we're missing now is our screws. So... Should I have a splitter at the end of my crafter so I can get into a container and half into an assembler? Uh, what I tend to do for stuff like that in the early game, just a madman, is um, something like, uh, is it this one? Yeah. So this is producing more than is needed, and so it backs up here. And I use this as storage. Rather than slowing down your production by taking half of what you're making and putting it into, into a bin, and these things take forever to fill up, right? Um what I do is I pull some overflow into these, but really what you should do is is you, early on, until you're kind of going mad uh, with it, is use the machine to store them. That's what I think. Once you get an actual, like, first real factory up and going, then I give... A bin. I give one bin each uh, a thing. Um, a, a, um, a product. Each product gets a bin. But yeah, I'd say get yourself to the point where you're kind of overproducing and then kind of let the machines back up a bit. And then you can just go grab them as you need them and then you're not like always moving inventory around. Thanks, Sweet Sandy. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. Were there any other hard drives that we wanted to re-roll? Not doing the fuse quick wire, I don't think. I could just get the inventory slots. That could be really good. Steel screw. Don't care about that one. That can be rescanned. If I can get steel, we just we still don't have the steel the iron pipes. Used wire, Caterium wire. So I think I do one rescan on this one. This could be, well, that's not, that's a late game thing. I definitely want that for later. So we have iron wire and we have our stitched iron plates, which means that we can make these completely with iron. That's good because we've got a lot of iron. And then, yeah, so the one that we're missing is iron pipes. That's the one thing. Because iron pipes mean uh, 
that we can do something with rotors. That's all iron. Uh, quartz. I need quartz crystal now. Oh, no. Stop it. Uh, that. I was a little bit shy on the silica, but I can just handcraft the rest, I think. I knew there was some inventory stuff happening with the silica. Quartz. Yay, more inventory space. Inflate the pocket dimension. Beautiful. Pocket dimension now extra dimensionalized with additional dimensional capacity. <laughs> nice. Uh, not a big fan of the buggy right now. Holy smokes! Total eclipse! Amazing. Thanks so much. Let me... Let me get up here somewhere. Whoa. All right. Total Eclipse, thank you so much for coming in. Wow. Fantastic raid. Uh, coming in, let me just see, 600 plus people. Holy nuggets. Really appreciate it. Uh, low, gifting a tier one sub to five of those new people. This is going to go by far too fast for me. Wow. Uh, let me let me just get over here and I'll get caught up with chat. Oh, wow. Uh, I know you're playing Satisfactory. I think you were building some train stuff. I was watching on my lunch break earlier. Uh, what were you up to uh, by the end of the day total? And feel free uh, to raid and run. I know that you've had a very long day with your stream-a-thon going. So uh, I understand that you may have to bail. You've been eclipsed. You've been eclipsed. You've been eclipsed. Uh, we've got Nutty Buddy... Vitzog, Edinburgh, thanks so much for coming in, folks. Wow. Holy smoke. Uh, Total, how's it going? It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Uh, let's just pop over and I'll show you where we are with our starting area. We are in the grass fields. Uh, we have automated steel. We have semi-automated rotors. Uh, we've got... Uh, all of our iron over here is doing reinforced plates and modular frames. We are slowly working our way towards unlocking phase two. Uh, we are making, hand feeding the automated wiring over there. Uh, we are trying to get some hard drives. We've got a couple of good ones. I'm waiting for either cast screws. Uh, actually, I don't even need cast screws anymore because we just got the stitched iron plate. But I really want the steel pipe. Uh, that's what I want right now. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot, a lot of stuff going on there. Oops. Let me just move over here again. Uh, I will... What's the thing that I want? I want that window. Uh, but welcome in, everyone. Thanks ever so much for the raid again, Total. Um, uh, still train stuff. Long day building. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Um, I can see interesting Lego right behind me. Uh, that... Uh, TIE Fighter is actually on my desk, so it's actually right over here. Uh, and what else is over there? Oh, the Ghostbusters and the other thing is in another room. Um, but yeah, uh, folks, welcome in. Uh, if you don't know, my name is Joel Duggan, and I am a full-time podcaster and uh, streamer here on Twitch. Uh, I do the Spawn Chunks podcast all about Minecraft every Monday with Pixel Riffs. So if you're a Minecraft player as well as a Satisfactory player, then you might want to check that out. Uh, everything is linked to joelduggan.com. It's very easy to find. I'm Joel Duggan on social media. Uh, and I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast, which is, again, linked from joelduggan.com. Uh, both of those are available on YouTube or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Citadel Cafe is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. So the last conversation we had on that show was about the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power premiere on Amazon Prime. We're going to do like a mid-season 
catch up and then a, a season finale catch up as well. So that'll be really fun. Uh, but once again, everybody in my community, please go follow Total Eclipse because uh, they've got some fantastic stuff happening on their channel. There should be a heart somewhere in chat over here to uh, click on and go and follow them. Uh, they're doing a streamathon. What's the what's the hours left on the streamathon? It was close to forty, I think, a little while ago when I was uh, watching in in stream. Um, I, uh, I have a background as an artist. So, uh, while this is kind of a spaghetti mess here in satisfactory, uh, we are, um, going to be designing these factories based off of transformers. Uh, I have a big 1100 hour save that's based off of uh, devastator, uh, which is the 1980s combiner, all the constructicons. And, um, I haven't been playing that save because it has been crashing but we are going to return to it i i got the update the other day so i'm hoping that we are able to um at least um get it going again um until then i've been exploring 1.0 and uh, enjoying the eight equips and the snarkiness and all that kind of stuff let me catch up on chat here uh over 26 hours left still that's awesome big um uh, big mag thanks very much for the, the heads up uh can't seem to load any of my saves from before 1.0 you aren't alone so i can load it and i can play it offline but if i stream it crashes and it could be 45 minutes it could be two hours it could be 15 minutes so it's really hard to be creative um so yeah uh oh total says that we're down to 27 hours very very cool very very cool i've thought about doing a, a streamathon, but i only have like smaller windows to stream i can't do like a 12 hour day i can only stream for about four hours at a time give or take uh, we're a little bit past that now, um, just because it's Friday night, and I've got the, uh, I've got the, the bandwidth. I guess we'll say. Um, thanks for the follows, folks. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Sweet Sandy, also thank you for the gift sub that went to Total Eclipse. Hey, Total Eclipse has got a gift sub. Uh, anybody that's on my channel, if you got a gift sub in that uh, that raid, then you can connect your Discord and your Twitch, and you can join us in the Joel Duncan Discord. Uh, bang Discord in chat if you want. Uh, that is also uh, available via Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, or if you use a Prime sub, uh, all roads lead to the Joel Duggan Discord for supporting me online, which I, I really, really appreciate. Uh, another follow. Thanks for the follows, folks. What a great, great way to uh, to wrap up a Friday. So I can uh, I can show people around a little bit here on the uh, on the save. I'm sure that's something you'd be interested in doing. Right now, the decision is where do we build the first factory? Like th this is where a lot of people start. We have our space elevator over here. We've got all this space. I've got the gas mask and the noblesque so I can clear different things. We've cleared this rock that I'm standing on. I'm thinking I maybe want to put a factory here. Like I think a, a, this would be a good area for a nice factory. And I think what I want to do is turn this as well as the nodes above that, which I think are normal nodes. Let's just do a quick scan. There's iron nodes above that on the cliff somewhere. Thought they were over here. Oh, I guess they're not showing up. I thought that they were maybe I'm too far away. That's bizarre. I thought there was nodes up there. Anyway, there, there's iron nodes over here too. Uh, but all of that could be brought down here and I could make like a a smelting building. Like I could make a small factory here and just do a bunch of smelters and have iron ingots come out of it and then have those ingots go into whatever this building is going to be. And that's probably what we're going to do. Uh, our coal power is over the hill. Our coal power is up here. We've got um, eight coal generators right now. Off to bed says zero. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Really appreciate it. Um, the right side maybe says judicate. Uh, right side of the cliff, you mean? Right, so right now we're backing up. I forgot to put a um, a bin on this, so this should have gone a lot smoother, but we're at 100, so we're 10% there. We could have been a lot farther had I remembered to put a bin on it. Um, so we've got 
Rotors are automated as well. Great. So yeah, this is the stuff I want to kind of tear up and turn into a smelting area. I'm just, right now I'm torn on how to approach it. And I think once I get the recipe for iron pipes, um, my first mission will be like a motor. The eventual motor factory is kind of what I want to do. And I can do iron motors if I do that. Uh, just the right cliff looks like iron nodes. Right on. Uh, oh, the two iron nodes that are east of the build. Yeah, there's there's these ones here. Those are um, impure as well. So I've got those. So like I can tap those in. Um, I thought there was nodes up here, but I know there's nodes that are along here. So there's like a concrete one and there's other stuff over here. Not concrete, limestone. So yeah. So this, this area here where the space elevator is probably where we're going to put the first factory. Um, the last time I built in this biome, I made a huge factory, which I might have an image of. Do I have that? Yeah. So I made Metroplex, and Metroplex is the giant city transformer, and it turned out really cool. I never did finish it because it's just so big. But that platform just floats above this entire biome. It kind of went from where we're standing right now to the Caterium nodes <laughs> down that way. Like, it was just huge. Um, and I So I don't want to do big builds again like that. I want to try and give myself something different with this save and do, like, smaller modular builds. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, I am going to check one of these hard drives to re-roll. I think we're going to choose. So we've got stitch iron plates. Keeping that. Uh, we are going to do that cannot be re-rolled. We've got this is a recipe I want to keep for later. We could re-roll this one, although that's not bad for the wet concrete. We just don't have um, refineries yet. This one cannot be re-rolled. Solid steel ingot is still a good, a good shout, so I'm, I'm okay with that when we get to it. Fine concrete, probably not something I'm going to use. I am interested in the steeled frame. If we get the iron pipe, then we can do that, which could be good, instead of having to use... Is it rods? I think it's rods instead that so that could be that could be good um depending on the output and then this is the one i think i want to re-roll i don't care about steel screws i don't care about charcoal uh and then we have the inventory slot Th like this could be very helpful so i don't care about this but this could be very helpful because we have this elsewhere as well um and then we have iron wire which we need so uh i just haven't chosen these because i'm waiting to see um what i can do uh, so let's re-roll this together. Cross your fingers. There are hopefully still a few hundred of you here, <laughs> which I really appreciate again, total. Thank you ever so much. Uh, so if everybody's crossing their fingers, that means this is going to be good, right? Steel rotor. Well, we got the steel rotor. That's good. That's one of the things we wanted. So awesome. We didn't get the steel pipe. No, iron pipe. We didn't get the iron pipe. But I'll take that. And I think I think for ease of play, we will take the inventory slots and move on with our lives in happy expansion. Beautiful. Uh, I also now need to get this. Don't think I quite have enough. 40 more. So once again, folks in my chat, if you haven't already, please go follow Total Eclipse. I think it's just Total Eclipse, right? It's just the X is just like pronounced like an E. I tend to read things very literal in the chat, even though I've heard you say it out loud. Solid steel is one of the best. Yes, 
I agree. If you want some tips to fix crashes, just ask. Thanks. I really appreciate it, uh, Debu. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, I've got a friend uh, and community member helping me out. Um, I'm hoping, again, like I haven't tried it yet, because today I just wanted to um, play crash-free. And we've been up for four and a half hours now with no crashes. So it's got to do with taxing either my video card or my processor um, while I'm streaming. And then it's satisfactory that crashes, not the stream. So that's good. It's not OBS that gives up. So it's got something to do with satisfactory still, you know. Say W, say it again. My name is W. Oh, W, okay. French spelling. Cool. My French is very rusty. I know lay help, lay lay yipe, research completed. and lay skunk to pew. Crystal That's oscillator it. recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. Nice. So we can do radar technology. Not without computers, though. Hard drive. That's a ways away. Uh, not a... Total, do you find that the, or anybody else here, do you find that the vehicles are really hard to steer in 1.0? Or maybe it was even in, in Update 8, but like, I really don't like them. I find them very, very tricky to, to, to navigate. Um, I don't need that. Don't need that. Nutrients. Okay. Oh, I can do that one. Where's the guts? The remains researched belong to an organism with eight jointed legs, similar to the legs of arachnids, but with not standard distribution and function. Because its attacks focus on stabbing prey with the ends of their legs, which resemble insectoid stingers, they have been dubbed stingers. Stinger remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Salty Samworm 1 with 1,000 bits. Holy crap. Thank you ever so much. That's amazing. Welcome in, and thank you so much for the support. Uh, Bic Mag says, they overhauled the vehicle physics in update 8. I think it took some getting used to, but after a while, I could manage just fine. Yeah, maybe I just need more time in this in the chair, right? That could be it, too. Uh, Skull85, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, I hope I got all of the notifications. I don't think I missed anybody giving... Uh, I've got Sweet Sandy's gift sub. I've got... Low 88's gift sub. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, cool. I didn't miss anything. All right. Uh, so we've got the hard drive stuff we needed. I feel like that's a pretty good spot. Uh, I know everybody just got here, but I have been streaming all afternoon and I do have to run. So I'd like to see if there's anybody in chat that wants me to send y'all over to another satisfactory streamer. Uh, I would be happy to send you on to somebody new that I'm not familiar with. Uh, I'm sure Total's community has quite a few people that they might think would be kind of matching in Total's vibe and my vibe. So if you've got somebody, by all means, throw them in chat right now. Um, and I will, of course, send you that way. So let me see who I'm following. Uh, I know uh, I'm Kibitz is live. I'm happy to send you to Kibitz. Uh, I know that sometimes Bits is streaming, but Bits may also be in bed by now, given how late it is. Uh, Kibitz? I think Kibitz could be fun. Kibitz is a good, it's a good shout. Fluxo is also live. Uh, quickly in chat, Fluxo or I'm Kibitz. Give her a go, and we'll send you to whichever looks to be the most popular. Uh, been following for a long while. Time to pay it back. Love the content, Joel. Good to have you on camera. Oh, thanks very much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, this is new um, for folks coming in. Uh, looks like Kibitz is winning the winning the shout. Cool. 
Right on, folks. Um, sorry to, to wrap this up so short after that raid, but I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I will be live again tomorrow. That's Saturday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. I'm in Atlanta, Canada, for people that don't know. Uh, I do, again, the podcasts once a week. Uh, that's on Mondays and usually Wednesdays for the Citadel Cafe, although we're a little behind on that show. Uh, but we'll be talking about Minecraft on Monday. Uh, lots of new stuff happening in Minecraft. You can, of course, check out things like social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find, and patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's all online at joelduggan.com. I'm super easy to track down. Uh, give me a shout if you like the stream. Uh, Joel Duggan VODs, actually. If you want to see the Devastator build, then check out Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. All of my VODs for the last few years, including almost all of my satisfactory plays since 2021, is archived on my VODs YouTube channel. Uh, they're unedited, so just FYI, you might have to fast forward through like the breaks and you know some of the starting soon screens and stuff like that, but they are all available there. Uh, again, Total, thank you so much for the amazing raid and uh, welcome into all the new people. Thanks for the follows. I will see you all tomorrow for a little bit of Minecraft and a little bit of satisfactory. Uh, we're going to send you all over to I'm Kibitz. Have a great Friday evening. I'll see you folks later. Bye for now.